Early voting in McLennan County has officially ended and now sites are set on Tuesday. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart, he joins us in the studio now after talking to some local organizations that are volunteering their time on Election Day. Cameron, how are they going to help out? Well, Adam, these groups know there are going to be long lines at the voting centers on Tuesday, and they're preparing for any type of weather or problem a voter might run into, and they're happy to do it. We like nothing better than seeing long lines for people to engage in the political process. And long lines are something everyone can expect come Election Day. Today, Texas surpassed the number of voters in the 2016 election before this year's early voting even ended. But the wait has not been a deal breaker. Based on what I'm seeing at the, at the early voting, yeah, they stay as long as they need to stay. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. Jackie Rhodes and Dr. Peaches Henry are just two people leading groups of volunteers on Election Day. They will be at the polling sites giving out essentials such as snacks, lawn chairs, masks, and phone chargers. We believe that people are engaged, but at the same time, people are human. They get tired, they get thirsty, they get hungry, and sometimes it's not easy to remain in a line. And so we want to provide them every encouragement and comfort that we can provide them. Instead of just helping voters survive the lines, they're trying to make Election Day a celebration. We want to create a party atmosphere because we believe it's a moment to celebrate. And that, that's what we want to do, is to help people to realize that this is a moment where we're going to celebrate their right to cast their vote. One of the concerns for volunteers is that people might be too timid to come out to voting centers like the one behind me on Tuesday in fear that Election Day might become a COVID super spreader event. I want to be safe. <laughs> All the volunteers, everybody that we gather up as volunteers, they're, they're, giving, they're, be, they're giving information about how to be safe. And these two women had no problem finding volunteers to join them. We'll tell you how they're reaching young voters coming up later in the show. Live in the studio, I'm Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.